That's the thing, I always try to get the best use and the longest use out of things I do purchase. If it wasn't for Mike, I'm, I honestly never would have thought about doing these things because in the past I had this false perception that he would buy video games and then trade them in and somehow make money from that. I, I was really young when I, when, I, when I heard him do this, I was probably about 9, 10 years old. And for some reason I was like, man, it's, that's awesome to be able to make money out of, off of video games because I, I, I would play video games all the time as well. So if I'm not on the computer the whole day or a portion of the day, I might be gaming with people as well. So that's cool. But anyways, yeah, I don't know. I th always thought he made money from that somehow. Obviously, I think back now and that's just kind of dumb. But realistically, I took a better method, I guess, than he did. So along with doing the stuff with electronics and online gaming and software development, website development, and stuff of that nature, I would also pick up jobs, and that's when it came into play where I worked at restaurants, grocery stores, labor positions for the army, and it was just a very fun and enjoyable thing to do. And then now currently, I'm going to get a degree in business. Basically, you just got to grind and do what you got to do, man. I mean, there's just a lot of things that you can do. Do something that you actually enjoy. I know you hear that from everybody, but I'm just, I guess I'm lucky enough and I'm proud enough of myself to actually enjoy what the future is, and that is technology. I hope that really clears things up for you guys. It's basically the number one question that I've been getting. So if you guys have anybody or you know any friends that are wanting to know what's going on here, send them a link to this video, I guess. Share it with everybody. Share it with the world. So a little update, though. I did order the mod that you guys have been waiting for. Pretty rainy out today, so I might not get to an install today, but I do want to get to that on the trucks. And I have something cool coming. It's a custom decal that if you guys like it a lot, and I know a lot of you guys are Chevy drivers, and you guys love Chevys, well, I think you're going to like this decal. It's pretty unique, man. And I may seal the deal tonight. I may do it. I'm not really sure yet. I may seal the deal on the biggest mod and the mod that you guys have been waiting for for the longest time. And it's going to make the, this just say this truck, amazing. Hey, so for the mediocre guys out there, I was wondering, uh, what's your definition of Cummings? Loud-ass mud tires. $80. Be back in a sec. Sorry about that. I think the audio was messed up. So I got the bag here. I returned 10 of them. And then I also got 20 of these kind. And I mean, they're six in a pack, a lot cheaper. And I also bought, gosh, so many in here. What the? I also bought a ton of fishing lures, as you can see, for good a price. So, yep, yeah, that's the whole purchase there. It's a lot of stuff, man. You gotta remember, it was at a discount. Which he did with the help of his then girlfriend Emily. So if you guys aren't sure about what just happened, well, I kind of took ten back, ten packs back, came back with twenty fishing stuff, and I didn't spend any. Actually, I spent an extra three dollars if you consider that. 
Got to get some damn gas because the trucks are gas guzzlers paying the gas guzzlers tax. Or maybe they're not closed. Looks like a truck was here earlier. Holy cow, 30 gallon tank. Wonder what truck that was. E85 compatible. Gas is also done. Sixty-four dollars and four cents for twenty-two gallons. Perfect. Of course. Ladies and gentlemen, I just did the calculation on my phone, averaging about 18.3 in this truck, mud terrain tires, and a lift kit. Honestly, this truck is very fuel efficient. 5.3 V8. And I appreciate the subscribe. Have a nice day.